So this is our original image, and this is the edited version, which literally took seconds. Now it might be a small bit strong, but you can dial back the sliders really easily. So I just have to open up the software here now as such. So it's asking me to open a photograph, so all I'll do is I'll just select the photograph in my files here now. So here we have it, just popping in a photograph here now. It is loading up along there now. It is finding the face in the image. And yeah, there we have it. Automatically, because of the fact that auto is on over here on the side, it's actually going to automatically edit the photograph for you. So let's just have a quick look at the before. So this is the before and this is the after. What we'll do is we'll just zoom in along here now a small little bit. So if we look at it, something like that. So again, this is it edited and that's it beforehand. It hasn't done an awful lot. It's just a gentle touch. It's just removing some of the blemishes and just, you can see it's after emphasizing the eyes a bit more there too as well. So again, we can go complete manual on this now too as well. And there's a whole lot of details we can adjust here. So let's have a look at that and see how we get on. So um, what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly run through these here now. So we have retouching. So if I slide it up along here, that's increasing the strength of the retouching. So again, I'm after sliding that up along. Everything was an auto beforehand. If I go back to the original image, that's the original image. And then that's the, that's the retouched image as such. And as you can see, that has been done in seconds. That, I, have not, I have not done anything to this. This, is, this was still on full auto as such. And I just went in then and just started adjusting the retouching controls and we can vary our effect then. So, but let, let's have a look at what else you have. So you have a blemish control here too as well. So that will remove blemishes in the skin. We can adjust the strength of that there now too as well. You'll also see it'll soften it a bit. Now, of course, when you put any of these controls up to 100%, they're probably not going to look great. So that's the first thing. So what we're going to do is bring it back down along to where we're happy with it. And what I would say is I would bring it back to here somewhere, let's say. And then we can go to our details and we can bring the details down. So that's going to soften the image. Or you can bring your details up. You can see the skin pores and whatnot are opening out in the image there now. Or if I pull it back down along again, go back to where it was. So what I might actually even do is just increase it to about 50%. And we'll just uh, go here now again on details. So if I slide details up, you can see all the skin pores and everything else is starting to open out and bring details back down and then it goes super soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it probably roughly somewhere around there. Smoothing then. Once I slide this up along, that will smoothen the texture in the skin a small bit more. So that's going up full whack. And that's bringing it back down along again. So there we go. Texture then, I can increase or decrease the texture. So if I pull that back down along, you can see there is a bit less texture in the skin there now. And increase it, it's adding more texture to the skin, to the skin pores and whatnot. Again, it depends on the look you're going for. What I generally do with these, if ever I'm editing a photograph in something like this, what I'll do is I'll play around with each individual slider because every time you adjust one, it's having a counter effect on the others. So I'll just play around with it quickly and say, look, that's roughly around it. And the shine here now too as well, you can adjust the shine up. So it's getting rid of the shine on the forehead and on the cheeks there a small little bit and bring it back to where it was. And you can see there's a good bit more shine there. So shine control is handy. Um, face brightness then, you can darken down the face or you can brighten up the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that at default there now. Um, slim face, then again, of course, if you had a very unflattering camera angle, someone shot it with a wide angle lens and the face just looked really wide, you can just pull it in along. So you go from one extreme to the other. So that's it naturally. And I can just pull it in along small bit. So again, if it was shot with an ultra wide angle lens, it just mightn't look very good. But again, that's up to you. It's up to your own discretion. It's also what the person is looking for. Then you have your left eye size and right eye size. So you can increase the size of each individual eye, which is a bit a bit of a funny one, but I can see how that, that could be handy from time to time. Then in the eye controls in themselves, you can adjust the brightness of the eyes. So again, that's adjusting the brightness of the eyes. The whitening then, the actual whites of the eyes. So you'll get rid of any of those tiny little red sort of um, blood veins as such. And the detail then, how much you how much detail you want in the actual eye itself. Again, every time you adjust one of these, it has a counter effect on one of the other ones. So dark circles, I can slide this up and down. And what that's going to do is just along here, it's going to remove any dark circles or it's just going to brighten the dark circles that are under someone's eyes. So if I pull that back along again there now, 
you can see it's just darkening down this area here and just along there so just bring her back up line again it's just brightening those areas again that's something you have to be a small bit careful with it's nice to just give it a small bit of a touch sometimes and um, brow enhance then is going to enhance the eyebrows so it's going to darken them a small bit again you can go completely ott on these so again it's i just play around with a small little bit see what it looks like and let it at that teeth whitening so that'll whiten the teeth or go back to natural so you can again adjust that lip vibrancy then is going to increase the color on the lips so again we bring that back here lip brightness you might say look i just want to bring it down a small little bit i might want to increase it so you can do that um lip u then so i can change the u or the color toning of the the lip itself too as well and so what we're going to do there now is we've all these we've all these adjusted we're going to just look at the original image again because it's always very important to go back and look at your original photograph so this is what we had originally and this is what we're left with so the original image and what we're left with and again you can see this photograph is incredibly unflattering because it was shot with um with harsh enough light so it's not going to help skin textures and things like that so pop it in something like this is just going to give you a completely different effect if i pull back to 25 percent there now that might be a small bit much when you're zoomed in it's very easy to get lost in all these details and whack everything up a good bit now the one thing i really like about this is you have your overall opacity slider so i can actually just start pulling that back and say actually do you know what it's somewhere about there that's where i think it looks it looks a bit more realistic so this is our original image and that's our edited photograph and the point being is you don't want your edited photograph to look like it's really edited now the sharp eyed of the out there will notice there is a slight skin blemish there and there is one here you might say all right it didn't remove the blemishes how does it know what's a blemish and what isn't a freckle and all those sorts of things so i'd be happier that it wouldn't remove the likes of those things and you can just simply go over here to the retouch tool so if I go on the retouch tool and I can just click on that and what it's going to do is sample the surrounding area and boom it's gone and go here and go it's going to sample the surrounding area and it's gone so if I go back to 25% there now that looks absolutely perfect so if I wasn't talking to you you could edit this really 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 quickly and I'd say in all honesty you could probably edit this photograph in about 25 30 seconds and also the beauty is you also have um presets above here too as well i can click on female and it's going to give me all different options there now too as well so if i click on female here now it's going to give me all different options of different effects you can apply so they're not working quite properly as of yet because this is just the beta version so that's why i'm not doing it for you but again you also have the same thing with children and with male too as well so you can have specific presets according to gender are according to styles too as well whatever you want so if someone who does a lot of newborn photography that is incredibly handy i'll be honest with you, i used to do an awful lot of newborn photography and um that that would have been incredibly handy for me but again just to give you an idea of what the original looks like so that's the original and that's the edited copy and again if you didn't know it you wouldn't exactly be saying oh my god that's completely edited that looks right completely unrealistic here it looks smooth but it doesn't look too smooth and that's one of the things i like about the overall opacity slider you can adjust it up and you're kind of saying right that looks a bit much you can see the shadow detail here is gone the skin just looks it looks too smooth you've the, you've the, the eyebrows here look too sharp the skin looks too smooth the eyes look too sharp the teeth look too sharp it just doesn't sit right but you can pull your opacity slider all the way down and say to yourself Do you know yeah it is somewhere around around day or no probably for me no i'd look at that and i'd say oh my god that looks really good that that's that's just that's that's really good from my perspective uh, i will be showing you more on these tools obviously too as well going forward as regards cropping retouching liquefy all that sort of stuff but um just as regards basic editing that is portrait ai 2023 and a really fast edit comment if you have a question and please don't forget to subscribe and um that's it, Soden. Uh, see you out there, guys.